something is on, will be muting yourselves. So hello once again, and it's our pleasure to meet you today at our STEAM on EDU webinar. Uh, my name is Yekaterina and I work for All Digital, and it is my pleasure to introduce our first speaker, the Chief Executive Officer of All Digital, Peter Pavody. Peter, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to the STEAM on project webinar which is organized by this team on Edu Project Consortium. And this event is part of the All Digital Week 2021 campaign. And today, during this webinar, we will discuss the competence needs and for professional development of STEAM educators. My name is Peter Pavelgi, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of All Digital. And let me say a few words about our organization. Um, All Digital is a pan-European international association based in Brussels, representing 70 member organizations who work with 20,000 digital competence centers across Europe, who are supporting the development of digital skills of 1.5 million Europeans every year by providing training and advice. Our focus is on all people who need to develop their digital skills. And we believe that everyone should be able to benefit from digital transformation. Our focus areas uh, include uh, the development of basic digital skills. Then we also work on advanced digital skills for employment and better employability. Then uh, we focus on digital media literacy and also we support and promote STEAM education and educators. And this week, as I mentioned, is All Digital Week. And uh, this Monday, uh, we had uh, the All Digital Week uh, a high level opening event, uh, which was uh, also addressed by Commissioner, Commissioner, European Commissioner Maria Gabriel, who said that we need to go beyond digitalization into a real digital transformation of our economy and society. And it requires all Europeans to have the digital skills required to be an active, active members of the society. And she also added that our efforts to attract more girls and young women in STEAM and digital education will continue and we count on your cooperation in this endeavor. That's why we need a lot of awareness raising activities as well to support all those who don't have sufficient level of digital skills to respond to the challenges of digital transformation. And that's why we organized the All Digital Week campaign, which is our annual campaign organized by All Digital and its members and with other partner organizations. And the aim of the campaign is to engage and empower thousands of citizens to use digital technology and enhance their digital skills. And our motto this year is uh, be a digital hero or everyone can be a digital hero. And this year we put a focus on educators who are uh, the real digital heroes uh, in our days. During, uh, and, and you can see in, uh, in, on this slide that right currently, and it's uh, updated figures of today, we have 111 partners organizing 367 events, and we have already over 90,000 participants involved in uh, events and trainings during this week. And um, during this All Digital Week, All Digital uh, and its partners uh, are organizing a series of events and webinars, uh, and the STEAM on Edu webinar today is part of it. And uh, I would like just to highlight a few uh, more upcoming events uh, next week. We have an open AE uh, webinar to present the free libre open source software culture called FLOSS culture and its implementation in uh, at work, employment and adult education. And next Wednesday, we will have a Biblio webinar or uh, we talk about the new trends and requirements in the professional development of librarians. And there is a link provided on the All Digital Week EU website, 
you can visit all our events, even the events which were uh, organized before, and you can uh, find the recording of these events, uh, so you can watch them at any time. Uh, and I'd like to say a few words about our new tool, which is called My Digi Skills, which is an online digital skills self-assessment tool uh, at mydigiskills.eu that helps users understand their digital competencies. It was launched just three days ago, and it is based on the digital competence framework, Digicom 2.1, and covers uh, six proficiency levels. And it's currently available in seven languages, English, German, Italian, Latvian, Lithuanian, Spanish, and Romanian. But more languages will very soon come. And finally, projects like Steam on Edu and, and many others we at All Digital implement or participate in address social challenges in collaboration between various stakeholders, universities, uh, digital competence centers, training organizations, civil society organizations, with the support of the European Union to provide real solutions to the benefit of people and the society. I'd like to thank you uh, very much and uh, wish all of us a successful and, uh, and a very interesting webinar. And I'd like to give uh, the floor to Professor Achilles Kameas, uh, representative of the project coordinator, Computer Techno Technology Institute and Press Diophantus, and who is also the chair of All Digital, who will moderate the event. Thank you, Peter, uh, for opening uh, so nicely our, our event. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all to this uh, online event uh, in which uh, supported by the Steam on Edu project. Uh, and uh, let me thank All Digital for hosting this event uh, into the All Digital Week campaign, a very important campaign as uh, the CEO of All Digital just explained to us with a huge uh, outreach and uh, big impact at uh, European level. We are always uh, happy and glad to be uh, part of this campaign. Uh, let me thank uh, also the speakers that we uh, have today will um, that are part of the program and will present the achievements of the Steam on Edu project. Uh, the pro I would like also to thank the project partners and above all, uh, I would like to thank uh, you who I hope will stay with us until we end uh, for an hour and a half and see the important things that we have achieved in this project. Um, now I will say a few words uh, as an introduction about uh, our project and then uh, the following presentations will present uh, specific uh, outputs and achievements. Uh, I'd like to remind you, as Ekaterina said in the beginning, that uh, the event is uh, being recorded and it's also been streamlined on, uh, uh, streamed on uh, Facebook. And uh, finally, if you have any questions to me or to the other speakers, please write them in the chat and uh, we'll make sure that uh, you receive an answer either today or uh, in via email or in some other way. And uh, also the event will be, because it's recorded, will be made available after, after it's sent uh, to anybody who didn't manage to attend or to anybody who would like to review it. Uh, okay, so... Uh, and, yeah. Uh, I am Achilles Kameas. I'm a professor with Hellenic Open University in Greece, and I am coordinator of this project, uh, which is implemented via the Computer Technologies in the Press Diophantus, a research center uh, based in Patras, Greece. Um, the aim of the uh, Steam on Edu project, uh, which is a Erasmus Plus KA3 project, is to uh, propose innovative and cross-disciplinary projects, approaches in implementing STEM education. And in order to do this, we focus mostly on the professional profile of uh, teachers, of educators. Uh, so uh, at the basis of our approach is to create a solid interdisciplinary base for uh, developing STEM-related competencies, helping the teacher develop uh, these competencies. First, of course, we have to describe them. And uh, this project provides a complete framework that integrates all aspects of teaching STEAM, as you will see in the following. Uh, we try to include everything, uh, competence framework, uh, 
uh, educators profile, uh, training material, and so on. And uh, the partnership that is implementing the, the project uh, is uh, uh, CTI, is the Institute of uh, the Computer Technology Institute and uh, Press Diophantus from uh, Greece is the coordinator. And then uh, we have the participation of uh, All Digital from Belgium, of uh, Stade Generali dell'Innovazione di Promozione Sociale from Italy, uh, Hollywood Media and Education from Germany, Fundacia EOS, uh, Educating for an Open Society from Romania, Collective from Spain, and uh, the second Greek partner is the Regional Directorate of Primary and Secondary Education of Western Greece. Again, I'd like to thank them for uh, contributing to this very exciting and important uh, project. As I said, our focus, the focus of the project are educators, teachers and trainers who are interested in practicing STEM education, but then we go beyond and uh, we also include in our focus, in our target groups, education and training organizations, uh, researchers in educational methods and techniques, educational authorities and policy makers and other stakeholders. And uh, the outputs of the project, we will have out, we will produce outputs that uh, are relevant to each of these categories. Uh, just quickly to remind you what is STEM and STEAM education. Uh, STEM is the educational approach that combines uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics into a unified teaching unit, class, or lesson. And uh, the more integrated this uh, combination is, the better. And another aspect of STEM education is that the integration is happening through uh, real world problems. Um, and then STEAM is an extension of STEM, an evolution of STEM, uh, in which the A that is added can be interpreted as arts education, arts and as any non-STEM discipline, or arts as a synonym for project-based learning, problem-based learning, technology-based learning, and so on. So STEAM is seen as a practice that recognizes the real world, uh, the, ro the role of the arts in the real world, and not simply just adding arts into the previous uh, framework. And uh, the main objectives of STEAM education uh, are uh, to prepare active and functioning citizens uh, for this newly, uh, uh, this uh, heavily technological, heavily digital uh, society, intensively digital society, and uh, to uh, effort education, experience-based education, based uh, and design activities that uh, uh, involve uh, heavily problem uh, solving. Uh, in this, in addition, uh, STEAM education aims to transfer uh, to help students develop soft skills like critical thinking and communication. And in this way, STEAM education aspires to uh, better meet the demands of the labor field, the new demands of the labor field, and in this way, create better opportunities for the students, uh, better career opportunities for the students. So in a nutshell, STEAM encourages the blending of knowledge that is required in the real world and natural curiosity. Our approach uh, is based in this project is based on three aspects, on three pillars. The first is to build a community and support the community of educators. As I said, teachers and educators are given a central role. In our project, we have developed an online platform. We support an online community, uh, and we try to keep this community active. Actually, we listen to them. We listen to their suggestions. We ask for their opinion. We collect their experience and the material they want to publish uh, with us. Uh, then we offer a holistic support, as I said in the beginning. Uh, we identify the roles and competencies uh, involved in, in applying STEAM as an educational practice. We develop tools to support this, uh, the development of these competencies. And the third aspect is the professional development of teachers and educators in general. Uh, and we design and uh, we designed and we are going to implement specific activities for this. These are the main outcomes of the project. Uh, it's a set of, first of all, there is a set of tools based on competence, the STEAM competence framework. You will hear about it today. The STEAM educator profile, which are now is now under design based on the competence framework. And uh, at, towards the end of the project, we will design a STEAM readiness self-assessment tool based on the selfie. Uh, tool of uh, JRC. Then uh, we provide an integrated STEAM education framework, uh, which uh, is addressed to the STEAM educators community, supported by the online collaborative platform. 
contains the STEAM education framework that describes uh, instructional strategies, uh, educational resources, and so on. And uh, we are, have now designed and we're going to deliver a blended course, including a MOOC uh, based on the profile of STEAM educator and an, uh, an online course uh, uh, later on. And finally, since this is a KA3 project, we also develop policy instruments. We have already developed the guide of STEAM educational practices and policies, and uh, towards the end of the project, we'll develop the policy influencer toolkit. A few words about these main outcomes, but uh, actually this is also like a table of contents of today's uh, event, because you will hear more about each of them later. Uh, the STEAM education framework, which sort of integrates uh, the project efforts, uh, contains, describes the STEAM educator's position, then we uh, analyze the competencies needed by the educator and the student so that the STEAM education is effective. We propose, propose an instructional meta methodology for STEAM uh, education. We give specifications for OERs and we try to define the body of knowledge uh, required for STEAM education. Uh, we have already produced a guide of STEAM education practices in which we have analyzed more than 60 practices that have been submitted by educators uh, in, uh, to our online platform. And in order to do this, we developed a framework for uh, evaluating STEAM education practices. So now we have an idea, we have a good definition of what is the best practice for STEAM education. Uh, the framework consists of principles and criteria, the guide, together with the best practices up to now, because it's a continuous process, we still accept practices and we evaluate them on a regular basis. The guide is available in the project website. Uh, our main achievement until now is the STEAM competence uh, framework, a very important uh, achievement, which complements the um, family of frameworks, of competence frameworks available out there. Uh, and uh, it contain, it's based on five perspectives. It approaches uh, STEAM education from five perspectives. We see educator as a teacher, trainer, and tutor, educator as learning designer and creator, educator as orchestrator and manager, educator as community member, and educator as professional. And for each of these perspectives, we have uh, designed 16 competence areas and 44 competencies in total. And this uh, competence framework interfaces with digital skills and transferable skills frameworks. We already finished uh, an online evaluation uh, activity we, in which we received more than 300 uh, responses, evaluations to a rather long questionnaire for this framework. And we are now processing the input and are going to produce a new version. Uh, behind all this is the online community, which is supported by the online platform. And you will see more about this uh, later. And uh, what are we doing now? Uh, we are working on the STEAM Educator Competence-Based Profile or Profiles and uh, the delivery of MOOC. Both of these will be ready uh, this spring until uh, uh, end of May, let's say. And then after summer, we will deliver the blended course, which is will follow actually the MOOC. So it will be available to those who finish the MOOC and the STEM readiness self-assessment tool for organizations and educators. So we are planning two versions actually towards the end of the project. But as I said, uh, this project is addressed to educators and other stakeholders. Our community is open. You are always invited to join. If you are not a member, please go to the, to the project website. You will find the link to the platform. You can join the community. You can benefit from what we offer to the members of this community. Uh, so participation to the community is always open and there is a continuous elicitation of STEAM education practices and policies. So feel free to upload your practice and policy, policy uh, to uh, the, the, the platform. Uh, <clears throat> the next major event for, organized from the, by the project is a conference on STEAM educators and education um, that is Hellenic and international at the same time. It will take place this May, 7 to 9 of May, and uh, it is addressed to scientists, teachers, educators of all levels engaged or interested in applying STEAM education, also researchers, postgraduate students, education executives, providers of vocational education and training, and any individual interested in being informed of the latest scientific developments, experiences, and the results of the implementation of the STEAM educational approach. Uh, the call for papers and practices is still open until the 11th of April. You can submit a paper if you want if you have something to say or you can submit a practice that you have applied in your classroom 
they will be evaluated. There's going to be proceedings published. Uh, there are going to be awards for the good practices. And you can see the uh, website of the conference at the top of the page, but you can find any uh, every information in the project website. So that's all from my side. Uh, this is the website of the project and you can follow us also in Facebook or in Twitter. And uh, to the right is the website and the social media of uh, my research group in Hellenic Open University. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, let me now pass the floor to uh, <clears throat> my colleague, uh, Natalia Spiropoulou, and uh, she will present us uh, with the STEAM um, educators uh, framework that she developed for the project. Natalia, the floor is yours. Uh, hello, everyone. Just a minute to share my uh, presentation. Uh, I hope that uh, it is okay now. Yes, we see. Okay, perfect. Um, so in this part of the workshop, where we're going to present uh, the STEAM Educator Competence Framework that the project has developed, uh, including its structure, how it was developed, and its uh, different uses that uh, could have. Uh, first, we'll give um, a brief overview of why a competence framework for STEAM educators uh, would be useful. Uh, well, as uh, this uh, STEAM education is a new approach, uh, uh, has created the need for education system reform and uh, better preparation of educators is one of uh, the main challenges of this required reform. As teaching strategies are changing, uh, educators need to update their competence profiles in order to face uh, these new approaches. And as uh, STEM education is uh, quite new, there is a limited uh, consideration of the challenges that educators face in implementing uh, an integrated STEM curriculum effectively. And also guidance for educators in terms of how to effectively teach uh, STEM related courses is lacking. Um, so a competence-based perspective could support educators' preparation. In general, competence framework and profiles uh, assist in effective learning and development by identifying the knowledge, skills, and abilities that are necessary for successful performance in a job. Uh, so more specifically, educators' competence profiles are also used uh, to promote best practices uh, providing uh, educators with a clear focus of uh, goal settings for professional growth and efficiency, and also help uh, as a guide for educators' training and professional development activities. Uh, so, in order to develop this competence framework, a methodology was followed which included uh, uh, multiple phases. We conducted uh, desk and field research to align with professional development requirements in different countries and levels of education, uh, including uh, the activities that were performed through, uh, throughout the STEM on Edu community during the first year of the project. And after the first version of the framework, first evaluation procedure through discussions was completed by project partners. Then the final version was evaluated uh, uh, where we ask uh, the opinion and feedback by the community in order to enhance and finalize uh, the framework uh, with uh, a second uh, version. Uh, so the developed competence framework is a complete set of competencies following a holistic approach uh, with various perspectives and uh, accom accommodating several roles, as we said uh, in the previous uh, uh, presentation of the STEAM educators, such as uh, teacher, content creator, designer, manager. At the top level, we have five uh, perspectives, which represent the different roles that the educators have. And each perspective includes one or more areas in which a set of competencies that have a related topic are grouped. We have 16 in total uh, different research uh, competence areas and 44 different competencies. 
uh, the, the aim of uh, this framework uh, is at first to be usable by educators for self-evaluation purposes as a self-assessment tool in order to evaluate themselves and find specific competencies that they need to improve. And second uh, is to support professional development of STEAM educators, both as a guide for the design of uh, the training programs, but also as an assessment tool for the evaluation of the training programs. Uh, so let's see an overview of the five perspectives of the framework. This is the first perspective, which uh, represents the educator as a teacher, training tutor, and includes all the required educator competencies during the implementation of uh, the education procedure that helps students learn. It includes, as we can see here, six different competency areas, pedagogy, content knowledge, instruction, use of content and tools, feedback and assessment, and learning env uh, empowerment. The second perspective uh, is the educator as learning designer and creator, which includes competencies related to planning, preparing, and developing education procedures, learning activities, and co content that uh, are needed.
when uh, the, the subjects, the core subjects uh, melt into a new discipline and uh, have uh, uh, attained a new, a new logic in themselves. And I think that this is uh, a very interesting uh, way of seeing uh, what STEAM can, uh, can be and can bring uh, to, to education. Uh, finally, uh, for the meta methodology, uh, I uh, took a look at uh, how teacher teaching methods uh, have been uh, seen as contributing to uh, STEAM education. And here I inserted a comparison table. It goes on, it's, uh, it uh, uh, compares 22 uh, teaching methods. Uh, in, uh, and they are rated by, by different uh, uh, teachers, teachers of different uh, disciplines. And this shows uh, their appropriateness in the eyes of uh, the teachers, which I think we, we should consider and uh, hopefully will enable us uh, to uh, design and uh, uh, implement uh, learning activities that take into consideration the limitations and the specific of each of um, the disciplines contributing to, uh, to STEAM education. Another uh, part of the framework, which could be regarded as a standalone product is the body of knowledge. A body of knowledge is a tool that can have very varying degrees of length and the complexity. Uh, meaning that it could be two pages, uh, just a, collections of, a collection of keywords uh, of uh, uh, describing a domain, or it could be hundreds of pages long and trying to go really go in depth uh, and mapping out that domain. Uh, what uh, we are currently producing is somewhere in between this. Uh, it will be uh, the, the closest uh, I, I, uh, comparison I can give is with a wiki, which will have uh, short articles. Uh, this is uh, on, on the right, you can see the outline, the main uh, chapters. It will have um, a tree structure, a branching structure uh, underneath. And it, uh, it will try to provide educators and policymakers with a very quick overview of the uh, of STEAM education. So uh, someone uh, will uh, be able at just at a glance to see uh, what are the main actors, uh, how uh, the STEAM elements um, are defined, uh, what are the possible positions of uh, the educator uh, and uh, so on. The Steam on Adu project is also committed to making its products uh, available under an open license. Uh, this is for reports. This is uh, simply done by attaching uh, a Creative Commons uh, license. But for uh, OERs, uh, we need to go deeper into this. Uh, last year, the project already produced um, uh, an ontology. Uh, for uh, digital objects. And this will uh, be further developed into specifications for uh, open educational uh, resources that will be used in uh, collecting and making available these OERs. One such type of OER will be the learning activity template. And uh, they are currently under uh, development. Uh, and there will be uh, two types. Some will be simply uh, simple uh, standalone documents with um, structures and uh, indications uh, to organizing STEAM activities. But we will also uh, use uh, LAMS, Learning Activity Management Systems, uh, which uh, is an online tool familiar to some uh, of, uh, of you and uh, used by some of, uh, of the members of our party. 
applicable to uh, during the MOOC uh, training course. And um, you will be invited to you to contribute uh, to them and to, to use them in your practice. This is a list of references. And uh, this is all from my side. Thank you, Mihai, uh, for this comprehensive presentation of the STEM education framework. As you said, uh, this will evolve into a very rich document. Uh, and uh, of course, it, again, it will be published in the website of the, of the project, but a lot of work uh, regarding the development of the framework will be done with the support of the community in the platform that we have developed. So those of you who are interested in contributing, uh, again, I invite you to join the community, to log into the platform, and there, uh, soon you will find uh, activities uh, that will uh, allow you to contribute. Also, let me remind you that if you have any questions, uh, please place them on, on the chat and we will uh, try to respond to them at the end of the, of the workshop. Uh, now I would like to invite uh, my colleague, uh, Professor Ioannis Zaharakis uh, from uh, CTI. Uh, Yanis will talk, uh, will talk to us about the training offer of STEAM on Edu uh, that includes the MOOC and the blended course. Yanis, please take the floor. Thank you, Achilles. Good afternoon. Uh, we continue the session with a training offer of the project. Uh, so we shall briefly overview the training program as well as uh, its uh, two parts, the MOOC and the blending uh, learning components. Uh, the STEAM on a do training program applies uh, the competence framework that was uh, described previously. Uh, just to recall that the competence uh, framework highlights the multidimensional multi role of uh, the educators and uh, composes their future profile. In these lines, the project organizes a MOOC, a massive open uh, online course, and uh, a blended training course. Uh, the MOOC focuses on the design and the orchestration and the implementation of STEAM education. It uh, lasts uh, six weeks with a workload of uh, five to six hours per week. It is planned to start uh, at the end of April and the participation is free. The blending uh, learning course focuses on specific uh, STEM as aspects and their competencies and uh, actively involves uh, the participants in communities. It lasts two weeks and uh, it is planned for September. In this part, the participants are selected among those who successfully completed the MOOC. Uh, let's discuss some uh, details about MOOC. Uh, as uh, Kila said, almost uh, anyone can attend the MOOC, educators, uh, education managers and directors, even students and the graduates. So no specific background is required, just uh, general pedagogical and educational knowledge in practice as well as uh, basic skills on information systems and uh, computing. Uh, the MOOC is delivered by CTI platform and uh, it contains self-ranked presentations, activity and uh, interview videos, uh, several study documents and forum discussions among uh, the participants. Uh, consequently, uh, an access point is required such as a personal computer, either a laptop or a tablet, uh, definitely an internet connection and uh, the standard uh, audiovisual peripherals. Uh, the first perspective of uh, the competence framework deals with uh, the educator as a teacher, trainer, or, or tutor. Uh, this perspective includes six different uh, areas, that is uh, groups of coherent competencies, which in total comprise uh, 16 different uh, competencies. We focus on the areas that uh, are beyond the standard well-known and uh, more or less untamed competencies by all educators. And uh, we emphasize on uh, three specific competencies that are especially critical for STEAM education. Uh, the first module uh, focuses on what STEAM represents and means and how we evolved from the STEM approach to the STEAM approach. Terms like uh, interdisciplinarity, transdisciplinarity and the metadisciplines that are related to the STEAM approach are clarified, while the integration of uh, 
convergent and the divergent skills uh, are discussed. Uh, next, we discuss in brief uh, teaching and learning techniques that are appropriate uh, for the STEAM approach and foster critical thinking and creativity. In this context, uh, uh, important skills uh, to teach in schools are presented and the uh, basic steps to create a STEAM classroom are provided among others. Last but not least, we provide uh, directions for selecting uh, proper tools and content to facilitate uh, STEAM education. Examples and uh, case studies are presented, followed by experiences ex exchanged among uh, participants. Uh, the second week delves into the second perspective of the framework, the educator as a learning designer and creator. Here, we focus on designing and producing outputs that facilitate and promote the STEAM approach. Three out of uh, seven in total competencies are discussed here. Uh, two of them focus on course and activity design, respectively, presenting uh, the principles of uh, design, the process and steps to follow, so uh, to design uh, successful activities or courses. Uh, opportunities that may arise from uh, the audience composition and interests, as well as uh, quality aspects, uh, potential risks, uh, appropriate assessment methods, all issues that uh, always have to be taken care of uh, to conclude uh, to a successful design and implementation. Just a minute, sorry for this. Furthermore, we focus on uh, the creation of content. A set of uh, selected uh, digital tools is discussed in the first place, followed by methods, procedures, and uh, tips for creating uh, activities using specific well-established tools and applications, such as uh, the Turtle uh, Condor, uh, Scratch, and so on. Uh, the third perspective, the educator as orchestrator and the manager spans two weeks. Uh, the two areas and the five competencies involved in this perspective are considered to be rather significant uh, when the STEAM approach is in the center of education. Coordination, cooperation, uh, resource management uh, are very important aspects of uh, the STEAM approach. Uh, Educational procedure management starts uh, teaching organization. Time management, its key principles and tools are first discussed. Next, the well-known uh, getting things done methodology is analyzed, starting uh, from each principles and each workflow, followed by specific uh, illustrative examples. The week continues uh, by dividing into the inquiry-based learning technique strategies principles, perspectives, and uh, benefits. Add as a final step, rules, tips, and methods for making an effective lesson plan are presented. A second aspect has to do with uh, classroom management methods, especially fitted to STEAM education. Rules, routines, relationships with and among students, and uh, the general classroom emotional setting uh, towards the student oriented classroom are discussed. Unexpected uh, situation handling uh, and uh, disciplinary actions complete the view of the modern of the modern uh, STEAM classroom. Uh, the week concludes with uh, the classroom space design that facilitates and enforces uh, STEAM activities. In uh, week uh, four, we we'll go with uh, we we'll go on with the coordination and management resources. Uh, we we'll start with definitions, types, and classification of educational resources, while uh, keeping in mind important aspects like uh, privacy, copyright, uh, the rules, and how to apply them, as well as uh, sensitive content handling. Uh, next, we we'll discuss uh, lab management methods. We we'll examine the organization of the STEAM lab space, the lab culture, as well as uh, the makers manifesto. We discuss uh, methods and the practices to handle uh, technical problems by peer-to-peer uh, -peer support, following basic uh, problem solving strategies, and engage external help by participating in uh, STEAM communities. Uh, being, uh, in most cases, a collaborative uh, procedure, STEAM education requires by the teacher 
to have basic knowledge and skills of human resource management and team working, focusing on uh, the principal competencies of uh, HRM, that is uh, collaboration and communication. We present and analyze uh, simple yet effective methods related to team working. In specific, we present the working out loud communication method, the Scrum team collaboration method, and the uh, use of uh, Scrum boards enforced by interviews and experiences by, of uh, professionals that present uh, their use and uh, the resulting benefits. Uh, the fifth week uh, focuses on the educators, on the educator interacting uh, with the environment. Three out of uh, five in total competencies of the two areas are discussed. We start from the basics, what the community of practice is, how can we engage in communities to benefit from them, what are the success factors of our communities of practice, the tension clusters, etc. Next, we will discuss uh, etiquette and uh, explicit set of rules of good manners that uh, should be kept in mind when uh, we participate in communities. Furthermore, uh, we touch the psychology of uh, digital age, a book of uh, John Schuller, focusing on the online identity manager and the online behavior and the issues that may arise, for example, uh, misunderstandings, addiction, deviant behaviors, so on. Finally, we provide a set of uh, uh, few selected uh, STEAM educator communities. Uh, we proceed with uh, research and business communities. The concept, uh, goals, and main techniques of uh, citizen science are introduced. They are followed by relative example uh, projects and next, we focus on uh, what kind of benefits and in what way team research and business online communities offer uh, to educators. Uh, in this week, uh, uh, this week ends with uh, the very important aspect of uh, applying and uh, promoting uh, policies that promote uh, the STEAM approach, starting from uh, public policy definition and classification. We move on with uh, EU level policies related to STEAM education. Uh, further on, uh, STEAM educator needs uh, other stakeholders and main drivers uh, in EU level are discussed, followed by trends in the national and uh, regional levels. Uh, having a good idea of definitions, uh, history, and current status of uh, educational policies, policy making tools are coming next. next. Uh, the necessary steps, methods, and tips to design and communicate clear and uh, impactful advocacy messages related to STEM education are discussed. Last week analyzes uh, the fifth perspective of uh, the educator as a professional, the educator that uh, develops and applies competencies throughout his professional life. It focuses on two specific competencies and then uh, presents tools and frameworks uh, for digital and uh, transferable skills development. Research in the context of uh, education, of STEAM education, is first analyzed. Starting with that, uh, sorry, starting with what, who, and how for specific knowledge and research, the basics of uh, uh, quantitative and qualitative research uh, methods are uh, presented. Reporting, dissemination, and ethical aspects of research, and which outputs are discussed in participation and engagement with the research programs conclude uh, this dimension. Uh, continuous professional development and lifelong learning is the second dimension that is discussed. Principles of uh, lifelong learning, uh, competence frameworks, and how they can be used to cover our own training needs are presented. Uh, stakeholders involved in the evolution of uh, STEM education and training uh, opportunities are provided uh, so to allow each participant to reflect and define uh, their own training path. Uh, the MOOC concludes with uh, two informative modules. Uh, these two are digital skills and the transferable skills. Digital skills uh, frameworks are first presented by focusing on the Digicom and the Digicom and Do. Next, an overview of uh, the selfie tool, its uh, structure, scope and uses are presented 
and the module ends with an overview of uh, the European policies related to STEM education and professional uh, development of educators. Uh, the European Skills Agenda, the Pact uh, for Skills and the Digital Education Action Plan will be presented among others. Uh, the final step of the MOOC deals with the area of transferable skills, definitions, purpose and the classification of, trans of transferable skills are presented followed by a brief presentation of important frameworks such as uh, the 21st century skills, the life uh, comp and the UNICEF global framework. Finally, uh, specific transferable skills essential for STEM educator are identified and their importance and relevance are explained such as uh, critical thinking, openness uh, for change, communication, collaboration, information manager, management, etc. Uh, and a couple of words about the second part of uh, the training program, the blended uh, learning course. Here, we focus on the perspective of the educator as a learning designer and creator, as well as uh, a community member. The course is performed via live lectures, self rank presentations and documents, and the cooperative activities through the STEAM on a duo community. As mentioned earlier, in this part, uh, the participants are selected uh, among those who successfully completed the MOOC part. Uh, the courses focus on the second and the fourth perspective, perspectives of uh, competence framework, which are uh, the community building and uh, uh, the promotion of new educational policies and uh, the design and development of curricula and STEAM activity templates. Uh, more details about the blended learning course will be, announced, will be announced in the near future, so stay tuned. I hope that uh, this quick uh, overview is useful. We we'll wait for your particip participation. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you, Ioannis, uh, for this uh, thorough walkthrough uh, of uh, the MOOC and uh, the announcement of uh, the blended course uh, let me remind uh, remind you that the participation to the MOOC is uh, in the MOOC is free uh, for everyone from everywhere uh, it's an open course and a massive course so you are all invited to join and also you are invited to um, promote the MOOC and invite your colleagues to join um, and uh, the, we expect the MOOC to be to start towards the end of April uh, for the exact date please visit uh, the website uh, of, uh, of the project. There is no registration link yet, as I said. Please keep an eye on the website of the project and we will also publish it in the community platform and uh, also through all digital uh, so we'll, and through our social media. So I guess that somehow we'll manage to reach you in uh, one of these, uh, with one of these uh, channels. And uh, now I'd like to give the floor to Esther, Esther Subias from Collectic. Uh, she will give us the final presentation of today uh, uh, that relates to the online community and the platform we, we use to support it. Esther, please go ahead. <laughs> Thank you very much, Akila, uh, for uh, giving uh, the floor <laughs> to introduce the, the last content of, of today's uh, webinar. I hope you will find uh, interesting. Um, yeah, uh, let's talk about the online platform and how mm, do we build a community, which is a specifically uh, especially interesting because we uh, today we are meeting more than 110 persons. So I guess that everybody will be really interested on in that. Uh, when you visit our website, which was posted. Uh, uh, on the chat, but I will share with you uh, a little bit later. Uh, you will find a lot of content and news and information about the project in general, but you will also uh, be able to, to join us through the platform, which is in the, in the top menu. And um, then uh, you will find our platform, which it's meant to be, it is in fact a peer learning and cross surfing platform. It's a platform that was born to, to share content, to share knowledge, to, to share experiences and, and to talk about all of this uh, stuff that has been also presented by my colleagues previously. 
we want to support uh, support this change of experience and then here we are looking for every single small or not so small good or not so good experience that uh, you may be uh, may have been involved into uh, or uh, maybe a policy that you are aware that is assisting in your country or you are promoting in your country or even in your school or even in your digital center. So we are looking uh, for a platform uh, full of uh, experience, full of content coming from all countries, especially European countries, but not only uh, from the European framework. We are uh, just trying to, to get as much uh, inputs as possible in order to cooperate and, and to uh, make a good co uh, collaboration between uh, the, our members. No? Um, so um, uh, let me tell you, explain you that uh, now we are almost uh, 400 people involved in, at the platform, exactly the number you can see in my screen, 375 members. Uh, all of them related to STEAM education uh, from different points of view. We have, uh, we are teachers, educators, uh, researchers, policymakers, uh, education authorities, um, people who produce STEAM, STEAM content or STEM content. Uh, yeah, all, all this ecosystem is already involved in the platform. And if you are not uh, still at the platform, you are invited to, to join us. No? Uh, we are waiting now when uh, at the end of April, the, mock, uh, the MOOC starts. Uh, some of the activities will involve this platform. And uh, uh, we expect uh, our MOOC students to, to really get involved and get related and discuss and talk uh, about all the content that is now available at, at the platform. And we expect this uh, to be growing and growing uh, till the end of the project. And, and more, <laughs> this is not going to finish in, in a couple of years, as far as we uh, are really supporting this STEAM on Edo community. Um, then, now you can find uh, 88 uh, activities, most of them coming from Europe, but not only, and 20 policies, um, meaning policies, uh, uh, yeah, like um, yeah, policies, uh, government, governmental policies, but more than that, also uh, things that are um, in the centers, in the educational centers. So for us, a policy is a, a very big concept. And here, I think it's Cornelia that is very expert on that. And if you have any question about that, please uh, join our, our um, question and answer session that will start as, as far as as soon as I finish uh, talking about this. Uh, on the platform, you can also find obviously uh, news and events, these educational practices, these educational policies, these, uh, yeah, you will find also forums and space uh, where you can talk freely with uh, some other educators, some other teachers, some other school directors, some other policy makers and discuss uh, how the things are going for you and how, uh, which uh, is your uh, point of view uh, about the STEAM or the definition of STEAM or the education framework, obviously our education framework, our education competence uh, framework will be posted there and we will discuss uh, about it uh, into these forums of the platform. And then, uh, yeah, we have uh, some other things that will uh, uh, get uh, live uh, and, and will be really amazing after the MOOC or during the MOOC uh, and after that, uh, that are the blog, uh, the blog post and the, and the wiki page. Um, teachers at the platform and uh, teachers and educators have a central role and this is very important and this is something that is transversal to the 
to the whole uh, Simon Edu project. Um, we are building these education scenarios. We are building, uh, we are going to get passionate about these online discussions about the competence framework, the self-assessment tool for the educators and organizations that will be posted there uh, at, the, at the platform and we will discuss about that and then uh, a, a lot of things. So uh, this is an invitation, a clear invitation that uh, join for you to join us uh, now, today, uh, as soon as possible, as this is getting crazy uh, and very, very uh, enthusiastic thing. And let me, uh, I think I have, a, I still have a couple of minutes. So let me share with you the real platform so you can, uh, take a look of it um, and then you can you can see what what I mean this is uh, our website website Stimonedo, and then you can go to the platform and uh, you will appear here then uh, you will see the most uh, recent recent content obviously you can create your own account account that's suggested, really uh, highly recommended uh, to create your own account. And then you can visit the educational practices section, for example, and then um, filter the, some of them, for example, uh, and, and get some yeah, uh, concrete result. Now I'm, I'm doing it uh, randomly. So I'm not sure what will appear here, but uh, for sure it will appear some interesting things. Maybe I should change the, the filter, sorry. Um, let's see, science. Uh, and let's see what happens here. Okay, I, I th it seems that I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not getting lucky. <laughs> this is because I, I'm making, okay, I will try to to reset and, and show something really practical. Uh, for example, you can visit, oh, what's happening? Oh, give me a second, please. Oh, it seems that something is happening with my connection, sorry. Um, another parts of, uh, I, I will give up, uh, I will, uh, I think this is better that, that you can visit yourself this educational practice section. I, I will uh, show you now the general discussion that the place where we are talking about all these contents um, uh, specifically and then there is, uh, yeah, we are talking about this and this will get more, 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 um, inputs as far as the, the MOOC will start very, very soon. No? So you can see uh, our post and how, how to answer. And um, more or less, this is, uh, this is all. Is, um, uh, yeah, it's my invitation to, for you to join the platform and register now for peer learning, uh, for collaboration, for doing crowdsourcing, and also meet all the community, trainers, education, policymakers, MOOC students, and so. And obviously have access to the detailed practices that have been published, published by educators all around the Europe and, and, after, and outside Europe too, the learning activities and the policies that are actually uh, available so this is all from my side uh, thank you very much for this time and i pass the floor to akila again thank you esther uh, we again i repeat what esther said i invite you to join the platform to join the community in the platform uh, so that you while uh, you are updated about the recent developments in the project but you also have the opportunity, this is a way you, uh, you can have your say in what's going on in STEM education in this community. Uh, in the platform now, there is a, a photo contest that is ongoing and uh, we are collecting the best photos and we are uh, going to award prizes uh, during the conference. Uh, we are also, there is a practice contest uh, and uh, practices who are submitted uh, for the conference, uh, the best practices will also be awarded the uh, prizes. Uh, but we collect practices uh, openly and not only for the conference, but also in, in general. 
Uh, and there will be more community building activities. Uh, you will have the opportunity to uh, contribute to the STEAM education framework in different uh, dimensions of it, as Mihai just mentioned. And um, uh, it's, an, it's an active community. You will also have the opportunity to comment on the new version of the competence framework, uh, to comment on the, uh, the STEAM educator profile, when it will be published and so on. Uh, so if you want really to contribute to this uh, to this uh, community, you have to join uh, to join the platform. And uh, one other thing, um, the MOOC that we are preparing is actually uh, it, we want it uh, we want to develop it as a MOOC that will take into account uh, the, the the outputs of the students. So those of you who will participate will have the opportunity to uh, suggest or produce contents that we can include in the next version of the MOOC. So if you uh, need to want to add some topics, uh, you want to add some subtopics, the way to do it is by participating in the MOOC and doing the, the assignments. And then of course, uh, those of you, um, the contents uh, that we will select will be given uh, proper uh, credit to the owners of them. Uh, so that's another way you can join the platform. I'm sharing again my screen uh, just to show you the to remind you of the conference that we are organizing on the between the 7th and 9th of May, and you can still submit practices or papers or photos for this uh, for this conference. So keep that in mind. We are waiting uh, for you to join us so that we together uh, can. Uh, define and develop the STEAM educators community in Europe with this project or in, in future projects. Uh, now is time for uh, questions. Uh, if any of you has uh, any question to ask, uh, what I saw until now, we have answered them. Uh, we have answered them in the, in the chat. Uh, in the meantime, and while you, you are thinking about questions, I would like to ask you all to open your, to switch on your camera so that we take a group photo, uh, a conference, let's say an event photo, uh, which is not as good as the real one, but uh, okay, uh, we'll do our best. So please switch on your cameras. We don't want to see your faces. We are very happy that you are with us today. We, I'd like to thank you that you stayed with us uh, throughout the event, we had a very small dropout rate, as we say, uh, in education, and uh, we hope we'll achieve the same with uh, our education offer. So whoever from uh, all digital okay. stage in the picture, One it's uh, the control is yours. Thank you. <laughs> One moment. Uh, we're gonna a lot has been taken already. <laughs> Just smile. <laughs> That's very nice. Yeah. Uh, Ekaterina, I would need uh, to ask you to do it. Yeah, do it. Great, you can all say steam. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and just 